Hi you guys, I'm back. Um, I told you guys I was going to come back and talk about um, my experience with this ectopic pregnancy. Whoever's all have been through one, oh my god. But, um, hope you guys having a blessed day. I am. I'm looking at this. This is after baby come home. This is how mom looks. <laughs> you know, eyebrows done. I just took my hair down. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do next, but, um, anyway, um, I experienced my first atopic pregnancy back in July of 2016. Um, I had went to the doctor and they had, because I was having, like, nausea and I had a headache, like, out this world, and it would not go away. So I ended up going in or whatever. Um, I was cramping a little bit and spotty here and there, but it wasn't like nothing serious that I was concerned about because it's like you could spot during your pregnancy or whatever. And I was nine weeks. So um, I went in and they doctor examined me. They gave me some Benadryl. I was like, why would y'all give me some Benadryl? It made me feel like a crackhead. I was chippery. I was jumpy. I felt like something was going to come out of my body. It felt so weird. So they was like, well, just let it wear off or whatever. I'm like, okay. So they called. They had to call in a person to do the ultrasound. So I had to do an ultrasound or whatever. And the ultrasound lady, you know, I was looking on the screen. I saw the baby. I saw the heartbeat. I was, mind you, I was nine weeks. So um, I asked her. I said, you know, I said, what's going on with the baby? Is everything okay? She was like, well, I can't tell you anything. You got to wait on a doctor. So I was like, okay. Miramaya, take that in y'all room, please. So I was like, uh, she was like, I said, why not? She was like, well, you know, I can't, you know, um, I don't know why, but she didn't tell me anything. So I got back to the room or whatever, and <sighs> 10 minutes later, the doctor come in. And it was like, uh, Miss Wright, um, we just want to let you know that you are having an atopic pregnancy. And I was like, what is that? It was like, where the fetus grew inside of your tube instead of the uterus or whatever. Um, he said that and the enemy had a heartbeat and it could not survive in there. So they would have to remove the baby. And they said by the baby being so big at nine weeks that they had to remove the tube as well. So, oh my God, my heart was like totally broken from that. Like, I was like, oh my God, like, how did that happen? And it was like, you know, it's nothing that you did, you know, it just happened. So, I was like, well, my daughters are at home. My kid's father, he's at home. Can I just go home and make sure that they are okay? And they're like, no, you can't leave because if it ruptures or whatever, you can bleed the dead, it can hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Hurt you, basically. And kill the child, basically. So, it was an awful, awful, awful experience. Um, the surgery was awful. They cut me three times. Um, it was it was really bad. Like, it was the worst pain you can endure. I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. And thank God I had him here because he was helping me get around. The girls get back and forth to the bathroom like it was the worst like it was the saddest day of our life like you just felt empty I didn't want to see any kids I didn't want to see anything for a long time um then I had another one in um like the beginning part of 2017 and this time I was able to catch it myself um because I was having the same symptoms I wasn't I wasn't having any symptoms of pregnancy like I wasn't um, throwing up I wasn't sick I wasn't um like nothing I didn't feel anything I didn't even feel like I was pregnant but I felt the bad feelings of the shoulder pain I was spotting and everything you know and I never told nobody I never told anybody about it um, I went through it by myself I cried every day um, I went in room, dark rooms I cried I got in the shower, I cried, I didn't even tell the father because I was so scared. I just wanted to go through this by myself. Um, I didn't want him to feel no pain, but I really hurt him after when I did actually tell him. Like, and, um, but they ended up getting 
gave me a shot because I told her I was not going to go through a surgery. The baby was in my other tube. I had already lost one tube. I'm like, I cannot go through this again. I don't want any surgery. So they ended up giving me a shot because my hormone level was where it was supposed to be for them to able to go ahead and remove it. So they gave me two shots. So I was able to able to to get it out. And I'm like, Lord, I know, you know, it's making me, it's not my time to have another child because why does this keep happening? And if I lose another tube, I, not, I may not be able to have another kid at all. So it was painful. You know, I, I held it in. I never told anybody about it. I went on with it. I said, I was going to go ahead and get on the shot. They like, well, we got to make sure that, you know, all of your hormone levels down where it's supposed to be. Um, my doctor's appointment was three months later, so I was like, um, yeah, I want to get on a shot because I didn't want any more. I didn't want to try again for right at the moment because I'm like, you know, I didn't want to experience that again. It was like devastating. And then I ended up finding out while I was pregnant in September, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, I don't want to go through this again, but I was sick. I was sick like I was pregnant, so I kind of felt like maybe this one is going to be okay back in September of last year so I didn't tell anybody again I didn't tell nobody um I held it in I held it in I went to the doctor they confirmed it they, I went to the doctor again they told me that the baby was in the uterus the baby was, was where it was supposed to be thank god um I still held it in because I wanted everything to be safe. I was like, I'm just wait till the first trimester over with. Then I can start telling people. And I didn't even tell my father. I was walking around the house with a coat on, <laughs> and jacket, the big clothes, and, and he didn't even pay to notice. Like he loved me, girl. But anyway, um, and then I ended up going to the doctor because they sent me for an ultrasound come check the baby so I ended up taking the girls with me and he was here um, he was like let me know what's going on because I was sick I was so sick and he was so afraid he was like what is wrong with you you need to go to the doctor you scaring me so I had, went on to the doctor they did the ultrasound the girls was like what is that I said that's a baby he was like you got a baby in your stomach mommy got a baby they were so excited so they gave me an ultrasound picture I brought it home I was 13 weeks I brought it home and I said I showed it to him. I said, This is why I've been sick. And he was like, Are you serious? And I said, Yes, we having a baby. And he is well, we didn't know what it was at first. We're like, it's fine, it's okay, it's going in the right place. And he was like, This must be our blessing, baby. And yes, he was. He made it here Saturday, 10 10 p.m. Eight pounds, three ounces, perfect. He is like the heart of our life. I keep staring at him. I cry when I be looking at him because he's like, this is my miracle child. This is my blessing. You know, so I'm just here to tell the moms out there, like, don't give up. You know, don't give up hope. You know, pray, step out on faith, and allow God to do what he needs to do. Um, so if you're trying, just be patient. Um, and just ask God whenever it's just whenever it's your time, just let it be, you know, because you're gonna go through some things to get where you need to be. And when I tell you the labor with him, oh my god, like I threw up for four months, I spit for four months. Oh my god, it was awful. And then he was he was long, he was a really long baby, so he was like laid on my everything all of my organs so it was like everything hurt it can you go there and turn it down in our thank you so it's like everything hurt it like i got like the white girl booty now which i had a much booty in the first place but i got a little white girl booty now but <laughs> but it was it was then i was in labor they kept giving me Stuff to stop my contractions, to make my contractions go, to make them stop, to make them go, make them stop. Because I was dilating and I stopped and I dilated and I stopped. And then finally I got to seven centimeters and I was sitting there and my, I told my sister, I said, something is coming. And it was him coming out, three pushes and he was out. 
So I just thank God. Um, we are so happy. This is his first baby. This is our first, my first boy. I am totally blessed. I'm, I'm just like overwhelmed. I love him so much. I just look at him. I stare at him. Like, like God, thank you. You know, like, thank you. Like, every pain, every stitch of pain, everything I've been through was all worth it to just see him, you know. Um, but like I said, you know, this is for a woman that has been through atopic pregnancies, that has, that is trying to conceive, have the kids, you know, don't give up, you know, just continue to pray about it, pray with your husband, or your spouse, your boyfriend, or whoever you're trying with, you guys pray together, and just ask God to step in and make a way out of nowhere. But I'm not going to hold you guys long. It's been almost 11 minutes. Um, I appreciate you guys chiming in. Um, continue to follow me. Um, I'll be uploading videos in a minute. As soon as I get a little wheel of the girls getting their hair done or, or them doing hair, one. Um, I appreciate you guys for following, subscribing, liking, showing love. I really, really appreciate you guys. Please continue to follow us. Samara Samaya does have a page. It's Samara and it's Samara. Samara Samaya. It's the name Samara Samaya. They got a page. They doing this silly stuff, doing hair, tutus and stuff. But I'm gonna get some more stuff on there soon. We just got like a little backdrop or whatever. So I'm gonna start letting them upload their videos on there. Um, but follow them, subscribe to their channel as well when you get a chance. Samaya, she's on there talking about bullying and things like that. So it's going to be really entertaining with them too. Trust me. <laughs> but I thank you guys for your time. Have a good night.